Yeah. Hair flip. Yeah, I'm a badass bitch. I don't like it. Hair flip. Yeah. Oh my god. So you guys should be happy. Oh my goodness. Hair flip. Anyways, hair flip. And hair flipping on these hoes. Hi. for Angela to make the Blackurate news. So if you're confused about all these videos on your FYP about Angela the Goddess, then you need to stick around and go down this rabbit hole of drama and trauma with me. So this is Angela, she's from Michigan. On TikTok she goes by Angela the Goddess where she is the self-proclaimed leader and God over daddy's girls. Now this group is being called a cult. Angela is a stud and she is the daddy to more than 10 women on this app. Now these ladies are all BBWs and they are beautiful. But many people are now saying that Angela is preying on the BBW lesbian community. And they're saying that she's doing this because she used to be a BBW herself. Now I need you to understand that this is renewed drama because this isn't the first time that Angela has been plagued as a cult leader. This is her previous account where she was banned, Angela Natural Genius. But being banned didn't stop her, she came right back and continued to get more girls. And they protect Angela at all costs. Why do we send our money? Oh, that's just something that we do. It's no obligation or nothing like that, but we just enjoy doing that. Oh, yes, 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 honey. They send her money. They pray to her as if she's God. And she also has her girls on a strict schedule. She tells them what time to go to sleep, what time to wake up. And they better be up by the time she gets off from work at 9 a.m. Because if they are not, they will face punishment. One of the girls had to cut 10 times on her leg, like the thigh area. And then the other girl had to cut 150 times on the thigh area. 150 times. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to your boy, Sean Davey So if you just watched us giving you a brief synopsis of what we talked about yesterday, and today we're just going to dive right into part two and get into the key details that we really didn't discuss yesterday, such as money being transferred to Angela by these BBWs, also self-mutilation, punishment, curfews, and a lot of other things. So without further ado, we're going to dive right into this. Let's start by how much these women admire Angela and how much they'll do anything for her so that you can see why these women are doing anything for Angela. So let's check out these clips. You make me feel amazing. You make me feel blessed and loved and secure. You make me feel things that I never even knew were possible. You were the first person to ever show me what bliss felt like. And ever since the first time you showed it to me on January 28th, every day with you is a day full of bliss and love. I don't care what anybody has to say about you. I don't care what anybody has to say about me. I know that you love me just as I love you. I know your power. I know you are powerful. I know you are strong. And I know you are God. And I hope they don't like it. I love you more than anything in this world, Daddy. You are my absolutely perfect God. And there is nothing 
that I wouldn't do for you. And there's no. No, I love this woman so much. Like, I'm really. <laughs> She's so freaking awesome. So, so, so awesome. Oh, my God. Bunny, we are, we, we are not going to cry on daddy's internet. We are not no, going to cry. Yes. I definitely did say God. Because that's what daddy is to me. She is my God. She is my Omega. She is my Alpha. <laughs> She's my everything. And I'm pretty sure you're going to find a problem with it. And that's fine. Everybody can believe and can feel however way they want to feel. But at the end of the day, that is who I pray to. She is everything to me. So, <laughs> it is what it is. But that is and will forever be my God, my daddy, my everything. Like, you guys don't even understand the type of person that she really is. Y'all just see what we show y'all on TikTok. But, I mean, I already know you guys are going to judge, and that's fine. But I love my daddy, and my daddy is my God. I love you, daddy. So as you see, they are praising and worshiping Angela, which is exactly what she wants. Angela, the genius. And I mean, hey, she convinced these women to do it and they are. But just how much they love her is also how much they protect her. So let's get into a couple clips of these BBWs that are protecting Angela from the BBW cult members that are leaving the cult. They feel a need to protect her so that a lot of these secrets that are going on in this cult does not get out. The issue is that we know where you were this weekend. And we're just feeling like since you was with that person, you chose not to entertain daddy. You have been ghosted from everything. You haven't been on TikTok. You haven't been on Instagram. You haven't been nowhere. That is the issue. Is that the person that you say you love so much, you ghosted her all weekend while you was away. Okay, you told her last week that what she was dealing with, but did you tell her that she was not going to be at her live? Did you tell her that she was not going to reach out to her or contact her at all this weekend? Did you tell, I understand that you told her that she was going on vacation. I understand that. Okay, daddy. Back to the music. Now, if you notice how annoyed Bella was with this cult member of the BBW TikTok cult that did not acknowledge daddy while she was on vacation. She was also going through some things and she said that she told daddy, but it wasn't good enough for Bella. So Bella decides to basically attack this woman because she feels as if she has to prove her allegiance to daddy. But what Bella is also doing is over stepping this is not her role bella is one of the others now angela has the main girls and then she also has basically the side bitches if you will because that's what she pretty much calls them the side ones are the ones that have to send money and you know and all that stuff but the daddy's girls they don't necessarily have to you know the daddy's girls are the ones more so angela finds attractive now with Bella, it's rumored that Angela never found Bella attractive. This one here that has that always goes to the forefront. Allegedly, Angela has Bella around so that Bella could be the attack dog, if you will. Angela was basically, you know, using her. You know, you are the one that sends me money. You attack the people when I need them attacked. You put certain people in, you know, together or put them in their role when I need you to put them in their role. But once again, Bella is overstepping. That's not her like role to be a main chick who's actually one of the main chicks before she left was. When I was there out of us three, she did not care whether the, one of the ladies named Bella that lives in New York, she so did Bella not care whether that's that. that's always posting these videos and stuff, right? Yes, Bella, yes. Just she um, the one who said she called her God. That she, that's yes, her everything, she, okay. She did not care whether Bella sent her her last dime. She don't, she doesn't have a physical attraction to Bella. She doesn't have a sexual attraction to Bella. The only type of attraction she has is 
as you can see how Bella worships her, mm -hmm. um, how she goes hard for her. Mm -hmm. That's the only attraction she has to her. But me, um, she didn't seem like she was like the drama type person. She was just in her own world. So that kind of attracted me to her because she just seemed like she just doing her own thing in her own lane. Okay. Okay. So basically from what I understand though, at some point the whole situation became abusive emotionally, verbally, and for those that actually met her in person, physically. Uh, so right. I guess I'm just wondering like, why did you accept that? Honestly, I can't, I can't really have an excuse as to why I accepted it. I just felt like it was genuine love. And because I felt like it was genuine love at the time, I like like you said, I accepted it. I didn't really think that it was that bad. I thought that everybody has flaws and this is just something maybe that she has to work on or maybe built up anger. Like I was making excuses like because I know her mom passed away. So it hasn't even been a full year. So I was like yeah. making all all kind of excuses of she's still grieving um you know maybe she's hurt from her past relationship and so i can say that's probably kind of why i stayed okay the cult members truly feel a connection to angela they truly feel like they are in love with her so much so that they allowed her to beat on them allegedly so when some of them will go and see her well, honestly, all of them got abused, the ones that had saw her in person. But there is a reason behind the abuse besides Angela just being a toxic person. But a lot of people do that in domestic violence relationships is that they will use the love to excuse the pain. And this sounds exactly what this young lady is doing. But let's keep going. Me because um, as you can see, the whole praying to her thing, I did have her under the impression that I was genuinely praying to her. Wait, hold on. Matter of fact, um, let's stop right there. Just stop. Let, let's stop for a second right there. Because I'm like, I'm like, I'm, I'm really kind of tripping off that. Like, where where she get off telling y'all she that y'all got to pray to her? Like, that's the point. Be, how, how does she even introduce that? Explain that to me, please. Because she, one day there was a um, conversation and she you know, acts, you know, like, I want y'all to tell me that I'm your God. Yeah. So, me being, I guess you could say I was oblivious to the whole thing, like, as far as this is something that she wants to do in real life. I was more so looking at it on a, because it's like a dom submissive type thing that she was trying to have going on. So, being that it was, it was my first time being submissive, I was looking at it more so of like a, I guess you say like role play type of thing. Like she wants to be in control, wants to be a leader. Like to call her her God. Like that's her version of, of her? being a like, leader. That's kind of crazy. Right. And I do want to say that after that text message, I was gone the next day. Okay. So how did you, you just... <laughs> And I don't even mean to laugh. I think it's just like kind of crazy. Like you just stopped, you just blocked her or something and he was out. No, um, the next day, as you see from the text messages, she said we were to wake up at nine o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Her work schedule, she worked from nine o'clock PM to nine o'clock in the morning. So basically she wanted us to be woke when she got. So not only did the cult members have to worship Angela, they also had curfews. They had to be to sleep at a certain time, basically, so that they could be up by 9 o'clock a.m. so that they could all be live and do the things that Angela wanted them to do. If they didn't do that, then there was definitely some discipline. And there was also discipline to where if you didn't worship Angela. So once again, it just keeps showing how narcissistic and devious this woman, Angela, truly is. So once again... Let's keep going. Two, um, I'm pretty sure you want to get into this a little later. Uh, one of the females had to follow through with the, with the punishment that she was given. And 
with that morning that we're speaking of, she basically wanted me to do the same thing because the day before, two of the other girls had to do a punishment, and one of them okay, was Okay, wait just, a minute. So you keep saying this punishment. What do you mean they had to do a punishment? What 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 what, what exactly? Um, one the punishment that one of the girls did. One of the girls had to cut ten times on her leg, like the thigh area, and then the other girl had to cut 150 times on the thigh area. 150 times? Yes. And she did it? Yeah. <laughs> Angela sent me the picture. Bro. That's, that's like really sad, actually. Like, that's crazy. Peakerism. Weird word, huh? Peakerism is an interest in stabbing, sticking, or otherwise penetrating the skin with sharp objects. Think mm, knives, pens, or nails. It's usually in sexual nature. In mild scenarios, sticking the buttocks or genitalia with a pen may be enough to provide gratification. Some interests, however, are more extreme. Severe injury and even death is possible if the proper precautions aren't taken. What objects are typically used? Any object that is sharp can be used. Pins, nails, razors, knives, scissors, and even pins may be able to penetrate the skin. Some people with this sexual preference may only like specific objects. They may prefer a particular knife or only thin disposable needles. What are target areas of the bodies usually targeted? Because peakerism is considered a sexual proclivity, most areas that are targeted have a sexual connection. This often includes breast, buttocks, and groin. Was definitely a sexual sadist. This kind of sexual sadism was recognized formally by psychiatrists towards the end of the 19th century, and it was written about explicitly by an Austrian named uh, Richard von Kraft Ebbing, who labeled it peakerism, which is a form of sexual sadism wherein an individual, generally a man, gets sexual pleasure from causing harm to women by stabbing them in some way. And in the case of the London Monster, this was accompanied by sexual epithets and cursing. It needn't always be that way, but generally the point is that this is a person who has a sort of sexual dysfunction and they can only get pleasure from causing harm to women. So long story short, Angela is into peakerism. And with that being stated, if you pay attention to the lady stating that they had to cut themselves with razor blades and things of that nature, when you're into peakerism, you usually have not a weapon of choice, but an item of choice. And Angela's item is razor blades. So during peakerism, people also like to see blood and they like to see, you know, other things during, you know, sexual activity or before sexual activity and sometimes even after. So this is what Angela is giving, that she is into peakerism and she's also getting the cult members into peakerism and we will get into that a little further. But before we do, if you pay attention, a lot of the women technically don't know what peakerism is and don't know that Angela gets pleasure out of them hurting themselves. Now, I do think some women of the cult know, but not all of them. So we're going to pay attention to these next clips. And now, yesterday, we showed the clips as well of some of the ladies stating, don't call me beautiful, you know, whatnot. I don't want any, you know, problems with daddy, basically, and whatnot. So look at it from this lens. These women are fearful of being complimented and doing anything wrong for punishment. They don't want to cut themselves. So they want to do anything in their power to not have daddy tell them that they're being punished and that they have to cut themselves. Pay attention to these next clips. You look beautiful. Thank you. With your black, who you got over there? How much people? I got 12. Damn. They saying I'm beautiful. I appreciate you telling me that, but I am very much my daddy's. Please don't call me beautiful. Please don't. Please. I don't appreciate that. I don't want no rides. And don't. And I'll be the. And I'll come pick her up. And I'm the driver. She don't want that ride. I will be the driver. Cab wise, nigga. Cab position. <laughs> they said Bella glowing. That's daddy's glow. That's my baby. Bella's my heart. That's my baby. Can't nobody fuck with her. That's my girl, period. I've been with this girl for six months. Are you dumb? This girl know me, period. 
I do. And I love you so much. I'm about to cry. <laughs> I love you so much, Daddy. No, it's okay. She's like, oops, I'm so sorry for calling you beautiful. It's okay. Um, yeah, don't play that. It. it ain't okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, it's not okay. Bill, I'm it's happy your okay. ass not drinking like me. One of us got to have a sober mind at this point. But, yeah, Daddy, you know what? Sharing I... is caring. You can share me. You can't share my girls belong to me, period. You can't share this. Who person. says sharing is caring? One of these girls, I don't know. I am happily owned by Angela Natural Genius. If you cannot tell, her name is tatted on my chest, so everybody can see who I'm owned by. Sorry, I am branded like a cow. Where am I going? Nowhere. I am jealous. Sorry. It's not. I'm, I'm not only jealous. I wouldn't even say I'm, I'm jealous. I'm possessive. Let's go with that over jealous. I'm possessive. Daddy, they said laugh out loud. It's okay. I get your hers. Thank you. <laughs> As you should. Colt. I am yeah. definitely hers. You want to join? They said Colt over here, Bella. Oh my God. It is, but we love it here. Like, it is a cult. It is. It very much is. And Daddy <laughs> is the head of this cult. Would you like to join? And we love it here. We love it. Now, I know you're probably saying to yourself, like, okay, Sean, that doesn't necessarily mean that anybody's going to have to cut themselves or anything of that nature. Okay. Well, pay attention to the next clip with the same party, Bella, stating, do not compliment me. That's not what you need to pay attention to. Pay attention to what Bella says after. I appreciate the compliment, honey, but please don't call us beautiful or gorgeous. Please. Please don't. We don't want no rides with daddy. No wrong rides up here. And daddy said if with the 700 cuts, they better be neat. You heard what she said. And then after you finish cutting, you need to pray for forgiveness. Now, if you notice in that clip, Bella states that daddy says 700 cuts and they better be neat. That is basically Angela, daddy, threatening them letting them know 700 cuts meet if the you know compliments don't cease you know within this moment if you also notice bella looks up and when she looks up she was looking at daddy's response to tell her 700 neat cuts that's not bella threatening anybody that is daddy threatening bella and her counterpart, the young lady that is on the camera with her. So once again, these women are doing these things out of fear so that they do not get punished. Let's keep going. Quick side note, Bella also mentioned prayer. So this next clip is going to be getting into basically how Angela is, you know, God and the devil, basically. Um, I, I'm, I'm the devil when I make you do bad things. And then you need to come to me, your God, and ask me for forgiveness. As you've seen, daddy says 700 cuts and Bella said, and pray for forgiveness. So let's get into this next clip and how these women idolize and worship daddy. You ever, did you ever cut yourself? Yes. I guess I'm wondering, like, you didn't think... How did she introduce that for you to be like, okay, I'm going to do it? Um, honestly, one day, it was... I can't remember the exact conversation, but one day she asked me, she said, have you ever cut before? I said, no. And she said, have you ever thought about it? I said, I've thought about it before, like, you know, going through depression, going through, you know, certain things in life. I said, but... I never could actually see myself going through it, like going through with doing something like that to myself. And then one day she was really angry and she called and she said, go get a blade. And of course it resulted in me cutting myself. And honestly, with being submissive, I know before I was, I heard like of submissive having punishments so i thought like maybe being a, her submissive this was like a punishment mm -hmm. but yeah but now i'm like now i know like even other that's submissives crazy. are saying like that yeah like it's that's more demonic than a dominant submissive type thing 
Yeah, like one girl she made cut like 700 times. Is that correct? No, she she was telling me to cut 700 times. This was after I love. This was actually um a couple weeks ago. They were on their live. They were making jokes and they was like, "Okay, yeah." um cut 700 times or cut 400 times or cut a thousand times like angela and the other girl one named bella and the other one named is michaela they they were live and of course angela was in the comments and they were like basically putting this in the comments oh tell shay to cut 700 times make them neat send pictures like that's what they were doing in on live so Shay states that she has cut herself, that she has been in the I am being disciplined chair. And with her being in that chair, she realizes that she probably shouldn't have been doing what they were requesting her to do, especially since everybody was so far away. But they always requested pictures. So it added that added pressure. I also think allegedly that Angela is selling these pictures that these women are sending her that cut themselves. Now, it may not be of any interest to you, but a lot of people like things in this nature. There are people on the internet that buy people's underwear that they wore, rather panties or boxer. It, it, people are just strange. So with those photographs, a lot of people are into that. A lot of people are into those things. Once again, just because you are not does not mean other people are not. But I don't think that the majority of these women realize that Angela finds sexual gratification out of other people being hurt, especially during, before, and after sex. So, once again, I'm not trying to victim shame anybody, victim blame, or try to come at anybody. But Shay, I do believe that she knew that Angela got sexual gratification off of people being injured before and during sex. How do I know that? Listen and pay close attention to this next clip. Yes. Is that your name? That is that you? Yes. Okay. So you text uh presumably Angela and you said I'm ready to fuck. I need to see blood, a lot of it. I need to see torture. I need to feel this pain. Angela texts back, what are you saying? What do you want to do? You say, I want to see blood, cuts, burns, blood. What do you want to cut? Who do you want to cut? Both of them. So before we go any further, is this you texting, Shay? Yeah. So this is you texting Angela unprovoked. This is you texting her on your own. You saying that you want to see blood, you want to see torture, you want to feel pain. And so how, you know, how is it that it's brainwash or manipulation when it's you saying this stuff? Because as you can see, there is no text message above it. Um, there was texts prior to that. Um, yeah, as you can see, it says my name is Nodis or whatever. She has, uh, like I say, a lot of the things I consider as role play, I didn't really consider them as like real life things, like things that we would like go forth with for the rest of the rest of our life. Yeah. Um, and like I said, well, I mean, like you said, you didn't tell me that you were showing those, but I also have text messages too. She has a little, I guess, R2 ego named Devin. Okay. So I was like, during those texts, I was, you know, wasn't supposed to be myself. I was supposed to be the alter ego. And that was supposed to be Devin that I was Angela texting, not Angela. Ego. So I so do you take. So you talking as your alter ego, saying that you was going to cut Shay, who is you. Right. Those text messages were from Shay to Angela. Shay was speaking in third person because she says that her and Angela have this thing going to where it was more so of a role play type of situation and they would speak in third person as their alter ego. This alter ego speaks to 
the other alter ego, which basically Shay's alter ego would have been speaking to Angela's alter ego, which her name is Devin. And she would state what she wants to do to herself. So Shay would be sitting there speaking, but using another name at the time, talking about herself. So when she's stating these things in the text messages that I want to see blood, I want to, you know, bruises, burns, cuts, you know, and things of that nature, she's stating that she wants to do those things to herself. Why does she want to do those things to herself? For sexual gratification for Angela. So Shay, I'm not convinced that you did not know that you know, Angela gets sexual gratification out of pain and that equals pleasure to her. Why would you be doing this wannabe role play type of situation if you're actually injuring and hurting yourself? That's not role play. Role play is an imagination. Role play is, you know, I dress up as a nurse and we pretend that we're in a hospital. It doesn't mean that I dress up as a nurse and we actually go to a hospital. So Shay, I'm kind of, you know, side eyeing you here because with you saying things like this, how do we know that Angela was actually forcing you or making you do anything? If you are sending text messages to her unprovoked stating that you wanna do these things to yourself. Now, Shay says that some of the messages were missing, basically trying to insinuate that Angela was kind of, you know, weaning her on, you know, to do and say certain things, but it does look as if Shay said those things on her own so um once again shay it, it does look as if you knew that you know angela likes pain that angela likes to see you know blood and cuts and all of those things in order to get her sexually aroused and you knew that and it kind of makes me think that you're kind of that way as well if you are willing to do these things now i get that out of love people do crazy things so if shay is trying to insinuate the fact that she thinks that she was doing those things to satisfy angela that's pretty far so there there must have been something about this situation that you liked and not just angela herself so thank you everybody for watching my video we will be dropping part three tomorrow i love you guys so much make sure you tune back in shout out to all of these beautiful bbws once again and i just really hope the situation ends before it gets any worse and once again bye you come in my lives and drop a whole bunch of you know gifts and stuff but i told her really quickly i said i'm not calling you daddy and i'm married i said so i'm not interested in you i'm not attracted to you any of that and so then you were you were really nice and you would speak and all that kind of stuff and then you blocked me but we we had that conversation but i understand why you blocked me because she's she she i'm out why am i allowing her to tell me to cut myself at some point baby that gets old at some point that that's psychotic at some point you need to realize baby something may be wrong with me that i'm listening to somebody right right I, so Bella, I'm not gonna lie. you believe what you want to believe man when you i got for a reason. uh mo multiple personality disorder yeah she definitely. make it if you a main girl her main girl alter ego you have to pray to her i never prayed to her can't nobody